Nobody respects or gives more credibility to a leader than when he tells them, I don't know, but let me find the answer to that. My goal in life is to enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of my potential. If I haven't used every ounce of energy to provide value and be of service, I've ruined the day. I'm building a brand the last three and a half years for one purpose. I want to empower over a billion people to be happy. That will empower a thousand people in your lifetime to empower a thousand people simply to be happy, to make more money, help more people, and have more fun. The most critical thing that I learned about leadership in team members was when I went to college, my mom made me read a book. The book is this thick. It's by Ben Franklin. It's his autobiography. Ben Franklin said in the book, the best thing you can do is ask for help. The best thing you can do in your life is ask for help because you become an investment of others. Now, I created what I call the reverse Ben Franklin effect that says, not only should we ask for help, we should always offer our help, right? We ship the paradigm of value by offering our help. The most amazing thing to me is that I bought this golf course when I retired and I, I built it in, in called Poplar Grove in Amherst, Virginia. We built it for $12 million in 2006. Great market, it went up to about $120 million. We were building a convention center, 2,000 acres of homes. In all my genius, I decided to leverage that with my partners and uh, bought a whole bunch of real estate. And then 2008 came. The funny thing about that was, because I was a genius, I never asked one person for help. All I had to do was call one person that owned a golf course, even if they didn't know me, and say, hey, I've just lucked out, I have this huge investment, it's gone way up, should I leverage this at 120% LTV and buy a whole bunch of commercial property and real estate? <laughs> Sounds so obvious now, doesn't it? <laughs> Many lawsuits later. All I had to do was ask one person for help. But my ego, because of my past successes, which aren't successes or failures to me, they're just successive events, won't allow me to ask for help. You need to know three words. As a leader, I don't know. Remember, we're, as leader, we're intelligent followers and we're humble ignorant. <laughs> Nobody respects or gives more credibility to a leader than when he tells them, I don't know, but let me find the answer to that. Where you lose credibility as a leader, where you pretend to know, and the person knows more than you, or they go do due diligence and realize that you're full of shit, and now all the hard work and everything that you did to gain the credibility of being the leader of the company is diminished at its maximum capacity because you've lied, oversold, back and sold, cheated, or made up something. I don't know, that's all. The first thing you need to do is to create something. It starts with a seed. If I wanna grow something, if I wanna create something, there, there has to be a seed, a seed of thought, a corn seed, right? A, a watermelon seed, a sunflower seed. There has to be a seed, even in human beings, a seed is planted. That's how we create. Whether we're like Corey and I, people who manage a ton of younger people that go, hold on, I'm just planting a seed. I don't expect to harvest today. I have to have patience. I have to have perspective. I have to stay positive, right? Because I want to plant the right seeds because what I see people doing, whether it's the young people not knowing they're planting seeds for their future or old people who are planting seeds for other people's future and their own, they're planting the wrong seeds. They're voting for the wrong things and then keep on voting for the wrong seeds. They keep planting corn and they're wondering why they want watermelon, but they keep getting corn. Because all they're doing is keep planting these seeds. You, as a leader, can nurture other people's ideas as well. You can't just plant a seed and it grows to a tremendous amount the day you plant it. So many people, especially young people, think, that's it, I'm an overnight success. Big projects, 10 years, five years, two and a half years. I always say you're 17 and a half years from being an overnight success in the real business. That's what it takes.